I've got 10, 10 plates here cut up and ready to go. So uh, let's get to it. Hey there, welcome back to Northlight Photographic Workshops. I'm Bill Schwab and uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna take you out for another uh, bit of wet plate photography today. Um, I had so much fun with my friend Kara Kuklis the other day photographing in Cross Village and around the area that I thought I'd take you out for another one. Um, I had to order some more uh, diethyl ether to mix in with my collodion and uh, finally came today and got it all mixed up. It's been sitting around ready to go. It's a quick clear, uh, quick clear collodion so it's no problem letting it sit around or anything like that. I can just take it out today and use it. So uh, what my plan is is to take you over to uh, um, an old house. Uh, it's an old schoolhouse that has been refurbished into a home that I do know the people that own it and I don't think they're gonna mind me going over because I'm actually gonna leave them a gift plate there. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna head over there right now and hopefully they're not around and uh, I can do this in kind of a stealthy mode. So um, stick with me, we're gonna hit the road. Here in a minute I'm getting my, uh, getting every last minute thing packed up so we'll get on the way soon, all right? Let's go. I have to say, I've abandoned the idea of the schoolhouse right now because I ha went by there and my friend is there and uh, I'll check up in with them later on, but I just kind of want this to be a surprise. So anyway, what I've done, so I brought you over to another spot here. There's this uh, old property where uh, um, the buildings collapsed long ago, but there is a, a stone chimney left laying there or laying there, left standing there. and. Uh, as you can see, it's right over here behind me and I am going to uh, set up the camera out here and make an image of that. So uh, stick with me and I'll get set up. Yeah, I can actually remember this place as a little structure here. And, you know, to me it seems like a couple of years, but it's probably 20 years ago that this thing was standing. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up with my, uh, right about here with my Verito lens, which is kind of a soft focus lens, and uh, I'll see what happens with that. Okay, so uh, time to get the deer dwarf. Okay, uh, now that we've got the camera in position, it's time to get a lens and um, I'm also gonna pour out the uh, silver nitrate into the tank right now, so let's get going. All right, first out here we got to uh, get our trays set up. <clears throat> Glodian pour off bottle. This is my uh, little light here to kind of guide me when I'm working in my developer tray here. I've got to modify this so I've got some better red lights in here. 
But yeah, so let's get this set up. Uh, got my silver nitrate. Let's get that poured out. I'm gonna put on some gloves because uh, silver nitrate stains pretty badly. Uh, my clothing that I'm wearing right now has poured plates before, so I'm not too worried about these clothes. You can see it's my special pouring shirt made by the one and only Mr. Clay Harmon. So uh, let's get the silver nitrate poured into the, uh, the tank here. You want to be very careful with this stuff because you don't want to splash it into your eyes and I should be wearing eye covering right now, but uh, I'm very careful with it. Now I'm pouring out enough so it will cover an 8x10 plate because that's what I'm going to be shooting here. All right, there we go. The rest of it I carefully seal. I put over here. Now I've got my, uh, my blank plates here. And right here I've got my nice Chamonix uh, plate holder. And I get that set up over here, ready to go. Cover up my silver nitrate. Uh, yeah, now I need some fixer. <clears throat> Pull some fixer out of here. Some th this is a uh, sodium thiosulfate sulfate I'm using. And uh, I've been doing this a while, so I kind of know how much I'm, I'm using here. But if you want to see my series on wet plate photography, there'll be a link up here right now. Um, and there's five, five videos, I believe, that'll take you through everything. Actually, I'm gonna let this sit over here. Now, I'm gonna add some water. In the meantime, I'm gonna grab a lens. Well, actually, let's shut this off first. That's plenty there. I'm going to mix this up. Come back to that in a minute. Let's see here. I'm going to choose... This lens here I really like. It's an old uh, Verito lens. It's got soft focus, uh, depending on how wide your aperture is. If I close it down quite a bit, you know, it loses that quality. But right now, I'm gonna turn off my white light, save my battery, and the red light, and let's go on out and set this up on the camera. So yeah, this is my, uh, my Verito lens, and I love this thing. It's an old wall and sack lens. It's basically just a six inch lens. It really won't cover the full eight by 10 plate, but I like the way that it, invent, it vignettes on the edges. You'll see what I mean. Anyway, I also love this old Deerdorf. It's a great camera. Not so great to use your wooden cameras with a wet plate though, because um, you gotta be careful to clean up the silver nitrate afterward because it really does degrade the wood and it dries things out. So got that set up. We've got the lens, get it open. Uh, Get a cursory kind of focus back here. Yeah, actually I can really see it right now, so let's do that. Wow, this is cool. Now the thing about this is it's going to be all enveloped by the green foliage, which is going to come out a bit dark. You know, things that are natural or organic tend to come out quite dark in images but the stone will be bright and the sunlight out here, it's setting sun, not quite yet, but it's getting down to that point. And uh, you know, the light's getting longer, shadows are getting longer, but there'll be some nice light on that, on that chimney. So I'm gonna go get the dark cloth and see, uh, make sure that everything's okay before I get a plate poured. Got my old zone six dark cloth here. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, it's a beauty. 
Definitely a beauty. Um, I'm going to want to move in a little bit closer. Let's see what we get here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice, 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 nice. But as I said, I've got some nice vignetting going on, so corners are going to come out a little bit dark on the top. So yeah, I think I'm set to go here. I'm going to set my uh, my aperture here at about 5.6. Yeah, that should work good. All right, time to go pour a plate. Let's go. What I've got to do here first is get a plate peeled and uh, you always want to have some I, I use a, a little piece of um, metal that I've cut when I'm cutting the plates just to let me kind of get under the plastic coating and as you can see I peel that back and discard of the coating now what I'm going to do here is take the cover off my, oh, you can see that my, my glove here tore, but that's okay. Um, get the cover off of my collodion here. Now I just mixed this stuff up this morning, but it should be fine by now. So here we go. Let's get that pour going. I like to be, there we go. Let's get this down into one corner, that corner up to the top and then I get back to my last corner here and as you can see I'm going to rock the plate and that helps level out the uh, collodion that's on there while it's skidding over a little bit so there now I'm going to bring that over here to a piece of paper towel that I'm going to set down here and I always keep my drip edge down that way the collodion doesn't flow back over itself I got this all set up and now what I'm going to do is open up my my silver tank here and pull out my dipper. I put the plate on here and I dip it carefully slowly in. All right, there we go. Now, I let, I'm going to let that set for uh, for 4 minutes and what happens in there is there's a chemical reaction that happens between the collodion which is salted collodion. There's a bit of um, there's a bit of cadmium bromide, ammonium iodide in there, uh, very small amounts, but those along with the silver nitrate mix and they, uh, they um, catalyze and they become light sensitive. So uh, when this comes out of here, it has to be under red light because this is an orthochromatic process. Red light is, uh, is a safe light for it. So uh, I'll be turning on the red light here and uh, in four minutes I'll be pulling this out of here and uh, putting it into the plate holder and we're going to be going out and making an exposure. All right. Yeah, so while I'm waiting here I'm actually going to pour out a little bit of developer and the developer is a uh, ferrous sulfate mixed with acetic acid and Everclear and uh, I've actually got a little bit of sugar in here too as a restrainer. The restrainer is uh, it helps with the development um, with uh, fogging and things like that when you're developing it gives you a little bit more time in your development normally you don't want to go more than eight or nine seconds in development but this gives me a chance to work a little longer with that without it fogging so for those of you uh, interested a little bit of restrainer uh, I put about 20 grams worth of just plain table sugar in there in my mix and that that uh, really helps with with what I'm saying with about fogging so yeah, we're coming down to being fairly ready with the, uh, the silver nitrate, so stay tuned. Okay, so time to go under red light. All right, so here we go. Time to get the uh, plate out of the silver nitrate. Oh yeah, looking good. So I don't know if you can see this here, but what I'm gonna do is dip it out and I'm going to take another piece of paper towel and clean the back of it so that what happens is it takes off any excess silver nitrate that I don't want going into my uh, my plate holder here. So let's bring it over here to the plate holder 
and of course I'm going to put it face down because that is the way that we're going to be facing the camera. Now I put my cover plate in here and I close the back and here we go. So I've already got my camera preset up. Now we want to use this as quick as possible because wet plate, we have to keep the, uh, the plate wet while we're, while we're working. So there we go, check, make sure everything's good. Let me close my lens and I'm going to get the plate in there. Okay. I'm going to come around here, make sure that the cocked, ready to fire. I'm on bulb five, six, I'm on time at five, six. So let's go for it. Out comes the slide. And judging from the other day, I'm going to do a pretty quick exposure here because of the light hitting. I'm going to go about three to four seconds considering them at uh, five, six. So let's go with this. All right. Dark slide in, pull our plate holder out, let's go to the dark room. All right, here we go. Now it's time for me to take the plate out of the plate holder. I have my developer set over here. Uh, I have to fill up my, my uh, tray with water here because what will happen is the water will help me stop the action of the developer afterward. Get some water in there, turn that off. Okay, developers ready to go. Uh, cover up the silver nitrate, of course, so that we don't have any accidents. Now, taking out the plate. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the developer directly on the plate. 1001, 1002, 1003. I'm already starting to see an image come out. 1005, 1006. All right, in it goes. All right, now I'm stopping the action of the developer by rinsing the water, by rinsing it in the water. I have to add more. Now what happens is you'll notice that the water will bead up on the surface of the print or the surface of the plate until the action is stopped. And so you can see when the water starts kind of nicely sliding off the plate rather than beading up, it's ready to go. So, with that being the case, I can take the, uh, we can go to some white light here. Actually gonna open up the door. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Uh, yeah, so hang on, I gotta show you this. Now what happens is you're gonna start noticing, so there's some crystals and you're gonna start noticing the image will reverse out. And, uh, oh yeah, wow, I can't believe I hit this on the first plate. Well, yeah, that's just beautiful. Let me bring this out here into the light a little bit more. You can see that. Let's get the, uh, try to get the reflections out of it there. It's just beautiful. All right, now, it's a little on the bright side, so I think what I'm gonna do for the uh, next exposure, I think what I'm gonna do for the next exposure is to cut it back. So I'm going to cut it in half. I did like five seconds. So I'm going to go two, two and a half seconds on this next one. All right. So, uh, yeah, let me get another plate poured. So get another plate ready. Peel the uh, protective plastic off and I throw that away over there. Now, take off my pour-off bottle, lid and the fresh collodion lid, and let's get this plate poured. There we go. Now, I don't want to waste any because uh, I just don't have that much mixed at this time, and I don't want to run out on a trip out here like this, but sometimes you're going to lose a little bit, right? Here we go. Okay, so 
Now one thing I noticed on this last one was, here I'm going to dip off, was that the uh, silver nitrate was a little, I haven't put quite enough in the tank. So what I'm going to do very quickly while I've got you here is on the fly I'm going to add a little bit more silver nitrate to the tank. And that's about all it needs. So now I'm ready to get this in the dip tank or in the dip dipper and into the tank. Yeah, that covered the plate this time. Okay, so four minutes on that one and then I'll come back here and we will put that in there. Now in the meantime, I fixed this one fine. So I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna dump my fixer back in here because we can reuse that several times before it's exhausted. So there's my fixer ready to go for another pour. I'm gonna put some water in here now and we're going to do a good rinse on the uh, plate. And what I like to do is get the back of it as well. Wipe that off because uh, it gets a lot of extra silver nitrate on there. So we'll start washing it off and uh, let it soak a bit. Now what I'm going to do also is I'm going to pour some of my developer out for my next plate just so I know I've got that going. Again, ferrous sulfate, acetic acid, and uh, Everclear. Going to have to mix some more of that up tonight, but we've got plenty for now. Developer's ready to go. Nice rinsing going on here. I've covered my bottles again. You always want to keep these covered because the ether smell will not only get you high, but it can be dangerous. Um, in here it's not a problem because ether sinks to the floor. It goes right out my door. But if you're inside an enclosed space someplace and the ether sinks to the floor and builds up and you have some sort of an ignition source on the floor like a space heater or your hot water heater, you got to be careful. So be very careful with this stuff because it's quite flammable. Now, while you're waiting for uh, your silver nitrate, it's good to get things cleaned up a bit, you know, because silver nitrate gets inside of your film holder here. So you want to wipe all that out. You want to make sure that your backing plate is clean because every little bit of contamination when you're doing wet plate uh, can lead to some potential problems in your image. So keep things clean. Okay. Silver. Let's turn off our white light. Now we're taking out our uh, our plate once again and dipping it onto the paper towel here to get the excess silver nitrate off. And right now I'm wiping the back of the plate and now I'm coming onto camera putting the plate into the back of the plate holder. Now there you go. Now you can see I have the retraining plate that I put on and then I close the back up and we're ready to go. All right. With any luck, this might be the last one of the day. I'm losing light here and I, I want to get everything packed up back at home before it gets too dark. So uh, let's make this exposure and see what happens. All right, here we go. And here's some of the uh, locals doing their, uh, doing their four wheeling back here. There they go. All right. Let's get this in here. There's nothing about the shot I wanted to change, so uh, we're cocked. Gonna make the exposure here. Have to pull out the dark slide, right? And now this time, as I said, I'm gonna go with like a uh, two and a half second exposure. So let's do this. Thousand one, thousand two. There we go. All right. Let's get the dark slide in there. Let's go have some fun processing this thing. It's usually not this busy, but it's the 4th of July weekend here and uh, we get quite a lot of tourists come up. All right. We've got our developer poured. You know, I know that because I did it before. I've got water. Maybe you gotta put a little bit more water into the tray. It's always good to try to work ahead on these things. Just get your workflow down. You know, I always tell people it's a consistency of workflow that makes things. And uh, 
it works a lot better if you know what's coming, you know. So anyway, we're ready to go there. Let me dry my hands off. I'm gonna pull out the plate. All right, here we go. Here comes the image. All right. Now, I don't know if you can see the water beating on there, but that is telling me that it's not quite ready for light yet. I have to rinse a little bit more here. All right. There we go. Okay, ready for some white light. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah, look at that, very nice. Okay, bring it out here into some white light a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see a nice negative image in there right now. So let's bring it over here. We'll dump out the water. And now I'll hit it with my fixer. And here we go. Yeah. It's reversing a little quicker this time because the fix is a little better mixed. Yeah. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. I love it. I just love when they start to reverse. There you go. Let's see, it's just that reflection it'd be nice to get that out but you get the point and I'm gonna uh, show you a nice scan of these at the end of the video here so yeah it's a beauty it's a beauty yeah beautiful yeah I'm so pleased with this well wow. It's a good little outing here. Uh, I'm not going to try to pour any more plates today. Um, two is good and uh, I'm glad that I got it so close and this way I can go out again maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day do a little bit more and take you along. Um, yeah, I've got plenty of collodion left. I might be able to get through these 10 plates. So what I'm going to do is get things packed up now and uh, you know, what I'm going to do is show you this plate first. This is the one that we've just finished with. And uh, yeah, if you can see that, it's really quite gorgeous. I'm really pleased with it. It's going to be really nice when it's varnished. And, uh, but like I say, I'll show you here at the end. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get that in the rack here. And i uh, going to get all packed up, do a little bit of enjoyment of sunset. Um, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. I'm going to do a lot more of these. I'm having a lot of fun making these videos. So uh, we'll go do some more wet plate this summer. and. Uh, continue the good times. Um, but for now, thanks. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe below if you haven't already. Tell a friend, please. It's growing and I'm really enjoying this a lot. So uh, I'll see you again soon. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye. Such a beauty. I'm so glad.